Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to your ninth tutorial in the Intermediate Algebra playlist. And in this tutorial I wanted to explain the difference between this expression and that expression. So we have an expression here that says negative a to the b power, and over here we have a negative a to the b power. But the subtle difference is the negative a is inside parentheses on this side, and it isn't on this side. So what difference does that make? Well, if b is an odd number, like 1, 3, 5, 7, etc., it makes no difference at all. However, if b is an even number, like 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on, then it will make a difference. And your result, the answer will be negative in one case and positive in the other case. So let me give you an example of this. Let's say that we have a negative 2 raised to the fourth power, and let's compare that to negative 2 raised to the fourth power, and this time we're putting the negative 2 inside parentheses. So for the first case, we're saying that we have a number 2, and we're raising it to the fourth power, and the result of that will be negative. On the other side, we have negative 2, and we're actually raising the negative 2 to the fourth power, not just the 2. In this case, we're raising just the 2 to the 4th power. In this case, we're raising the negative 2 to the 4th power. So for the first case, we know our answer is going to be negative, and we evaluate 2 to the 4th power, which is 2 multiplied by itself 4 times. And in this case, we're saying that we're taking the entire negative 2 and multiplying it by itself 4 times. So for the right side, we have negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. And so for the left side, we have 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, and then our result is negative. On the other side, we have negative 2 multiplied by a negative 2 gives us a positive 4. And then positive 4 multiplied by a negative 2 gives us a negative 8. And negative 8 multiplied by a negative 2 gives us a positive 16. So I just wanted to point that out to you, that if you come across an expression like this or like this, they mean a slightly different thing. And if b is an even number, you'll get a different answer that will vary by a negative sign. So anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials in the Intermediate Algebra playlist. And uh, you guys have a great day, and we'll see you next time.